Today, we are going to discover which are the fastest WordPress shared hosting services. And honestly, I'm shocked to see some of the results in this video because I thought shared hosting services are usually slow. If you have been following my channel, you know that my current host is SiteGround and I've been complaining about them being slow. I've tested this page that has multiple sliders and dynamic content on Google PageSpeed Insights and it was getting a 55 to 65 rating. And then I've tested the same page on domains hosted on virtual private servers in this video. The link to the video is in the description as well. And it seems that without tweaking, it is able to fetch a 90 plus score. So naturally, I believe that VPS are faster than shared hosting, but that's until I tested these web hosts and boy, my mind was blown away. Some of them are fetching a 90 plus score as well. So in this video, we're going to discover which are the fastest shared web hosting services. And as always, I'm very transparent with the testing process and the results because I'm doing these tests for self-interest. I need to migrate my web host somewhere else by now. November. So if I alter the results or be biased, I'm lying to myself as well. Plus, I owe it to some of you who have been following my channel because you guys need to change your web hosts as well. So I want to provide you with the most unbiased and unfiltered results so that we all can move to the right web hosting for our sites. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, let me share with you the conditions of this test so you know that this is a fair and objective test. Firstly, I've bought 12 new domains and each domain is hosted on these respective web hosts. Secondly, these are the plans I've bought and used on this test video. Thirdly, I will be extracting the content and database of this website and I've uploaded the same files onto each of these domains. Fourthly, by default, I will rely on WP Rockets and Imagify to optimize the website and images. But if the web host is running on a Lightspeed server, I will replace the said plugins to the Lightspeed cache plugin and then I will configure the settings of the Lightspeed cache the same way. Finally, I've relied on a premium tool called PHP Plus to assist me with testing each domain on Google PageSpeed Insights automatically. I've set it to do a test hourly over a period of 10 days, so I've collected hundreds of data points. I'm sorry I didn't have the time to do manual testing for this video. I needed to focus on something else for the past couple of weeks and my initial perception was that shared hosting wouldn't be faster than VPS, so I didn't want to spend so much time on it but the results have proven me wrong. Anyway, I promise that this is going to be a transparent testing video. So let me show you how I transferred a common WordPress website onto many different domains and how I configured them. Let's go. Now, this process took an hour and a half to complete because there were some errors with the file upload. For example, the PHP version of Qualo Host is not up to date by default, so the upload of files was not possible. There were some issues with Hostinger and Name Hero, so I had to contact the support team to remedy the issue. Hence, it took some time for all the sites to be up and running. And the reason for me showing this to you is because I want you to know that there was no special attention given to either one of these web hosts. The last part of this video is where I configured the likes speed settings. So feel free to slow down the video to see what I've configured and if I did it in a fair manner. Generally, everything is configured the same way. Now for web hosts like SiteGround, WPX, FastComet, A2, Bluehost and Qualo are not on a Lightspeed server. So I had to install WP Rockets and Imagify to optimize the site. So these are the setups. The final part was me adding the domains to the PHP Plus to do hourly testing on Google PageSpeed Insights automatically. And that's basically it. I've left the tool to do its work for about 10 days and now we are going to review the data. So as I've mentioned, this is the tool I've used to do the automated testing and I've logged into the program. As you can see, these are the web hosts I've been testing. Let's start with Kemi Cloud. Let me open up the test results and let me get an average. Now I'm only interested in the mobile data. So I'll just copy this and paste it over to a new spreadsheet to consolidate the data. Now, as you can see, Kemi Cloud is getting a very good score. This is really unexpected. And before we move forward, let me just include a line of benchmark from Google Page Experience. 
So that's the benchmark. And although Chemi Cloud has a good score on Google PageSpeed Insights, it did not pass the largest contentful paint, which is a Core Web Vital. It did not pass the first input delay, which is also a Core Web Vital, but it passed the cumulative layout shift. Now, this is not surprising. When I did the test on VPS host using the same page for testing, most of the results did not pass the first input delay, but some did pass the largest contentful paint. So this is not an issue of the web post. It is more about the page itself. For the largest contentful paint, it is getting a good score. Basically, all the rest of the data you see on Google PageSpeed Insights, ChemiCloud has passed with flying colors. Now, let's go to Name Hero. Now, Name Hero is a strong competitor here. It is a little better than ChemiCloud in terms of the first input delay, the speed index, and the total blocking time. But in general, these two web hosts are closely matched. I presume it is because they are running on Lightspeed servers. It is unlike SiteGround that is running on Apache and Nginx. So let's check out the data from SiteGround. Remember, this is the source of the data that is put across all the web hosting providers. As you can see, SiteGround is not getting a good score, and that's why I've been complaining about them. They did very badly against its competitors, and the only data that is promising is the first Contentful Paint. Other than that, they did horribly in all the Core Web Vitals. Now, WPX is also not running on the Lightspeed server, so let's find out if they did well. Here we go. WPX is doing much better than SiteGround, but it did not do as well as those running on the Lightspeed servers. But what's surprising is that it is the only one passing the first input delay and loads the least in terms of the total blocking time. So generally, WPX is fast, but it is not as fast as those running on the Lightspeed servers. Maybe it is still too early to give a verdict on Lightspeed servers being faster than other server setups. So let's analyze the data from Scala Hosting. Again, Scala Hosting is not running on a Lightspeed server. So over here, we can see that Scala Hosting is not performing well, although it has the lowest in terms of the total blocking time. Now let's check out Qualo Hosting, which is also not running on a Lightspeed server. Now this is surprising. Qualo Host is the fastest shared hosting up to this point, and it is not even on a Lightspeed server. I'm running WP Rocket on this site, and the settings are exactly the same as site ground WPX and Scala hosting. So it's surprising to see Qualo hosting is performing so well. It even passed the first input delay, and although it didn't pass the largest contentful paint, but it is the fastest on these metrics. Now let's go to Hostinger which is running on a Lightspeed server. The results from Hostinger is good. It got an average of 93, but it did not perform as well as ChemiCloud and Name Hero as they are running on the Lightspeed server. But the results here are very competitive with them. In terms of the host running on the Lightspeed servers, it is the fastest in the first input delay as well as the total blocking time. But overall, up to this stage, I think Hostinger is ranking in the mid-range. Now, let's check out Green Geeks, which is also running on a Lightspeed server. Honestly, up to this point, I'm really surprised by the results because other than SiteGround, WPX, and Scalar Hosting, which I thought were the fastest shared hosting, especially WPX since it is so expensive, the rest are basically outperforming them. The 90 plus rating is like a norm. Now, at this point, Koala Hosting is the fastest. Let's Let's see if the remaining host did better than Qualo hosting. Let's go to Fast Comet. Fast Comet belongs to the non Lightspeed server group, so among that group, it ranked number two, right below Qualo hosting. But generally, it is not performing well. These metrics fall into the orange zone. Now, let's check out Dreamhost. Now, Dreamhost is running on a Lightspeed server, and it seems to be the best performing out of all. It got the best score, winning Qualo by a small margin, so now Qualo has given up its crown. Dreamhost performed the best in terms of the largest contentful paint. In fact, it is the only one here passing this core web vital. But unfortunately, it didn't pass the first input delay. Otherwise, it would have been perfect. Dreamhost is one of the fastest in terms of the first contentful paint. It didn't perform very well on the speed index and the total blocking time as compared to its peers, but still it passed the benchmark. So overall, based on being the only one passing the largest contentful paint and getting the highest score, Dreamhost is now ranked number one. Now remember, we are analyzing this based on the data we have collected. You may disagree with this, but just note that this is based on data and not my opinion. Let's move on to the popular Bluehost, which is not running on a Lightspeed server. Will the crown be short-lived? Let's see. So Bluehost is fast, but not the fastest, 
but it is the most popular one. Comparing Bluehost to the rest, I think it is ranking in the mid range. We'll sort the ranks in a while. Now, as for the largest contentful paint, Bluehost is the closest to passing this Core Web Vital, but it is one of the slowest in terms of the first input delay. It did not pass the speed index, but overall, it is fine. Dreamhost still holds on to the crown. Let's go to the final host, which is A2 Hosting. I have high hopes for this because I've heard a lot of positive feedback, so let's check it out. So, what do we have here? I think we found a winner. It passed the largest contentful paint, it is close to passing the first input delay, and it is one of the fastest in this metrics. So I think the crown goes to A2 hosting. Now let me sort them out based on the score, and here we go. A2 hosting is the fastest, followed by Dreamhost, Qualo, Chemicloud, Name Hero. Generally, these are fast, but I would avoid these. It is really surprising to see WPX performing so badly, and I didn't expect SiteGround to perform the worst. Again, this is not my opinion, this is based on real data which are tested on equal grounds. We can't say that Lightspeed server is better than an Apache server, because A2 hosting and Qualo hosting are not running on a Lightspeed server, and they are configured the same way as WPX, SiteGround, and all this. But one thing we can confirm is that web hosts that run on a Lightspeed server are generally fast. We don't see a Lightspeed server getting a score of lower than 90. So what do you think? I was honestly surprised by the results of some of these shared web hosting services. And if you want to check them out, I've left links in the description with the latest discount codes. I have just one more final comparison to do before I wrap up the test on the fastest WordPress web hosting, which is to combine the results from the VPS host and the results from this test. And then we'll compare the stability, user friendliness, price and features. And I will make a final decision as to which is the web host I will use for the next couple of years and hopefully forever. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos and if this video did provide value to you i hope you can do me a little favor and smash that thumbs up button it will really help this video reach out to others who need this information all the best to you take care and as always stay safe